Good afternoon. Right, this gate is now going to be primarily a foundation phase gate. So that's new to reception year one and year two. So at eight o'clock in the morning, if you're, you have signed your child up for breakfast club, and only if you've signed your child up for breakfast club, they will come through this gate. This gate will then close at 8.05, so they cannot be late. All children arriving for breakfast club will just be dropped at this gate. They will be escorted by staff into breakfast club. Okay. If you then, your child is not coming to breakfast club, they will come through this gate at 8.50. They cannot be late. Year one and year two will all, into that demountable on the left, will all be walking around the path on their own where they will be greeted by their adult and guided by their adult. Lots of the children have already started walking around on their own. Nursery and reception will be allowed to come in with an adult and will follow the path which I will show you in a second. If they have it, they won't be allowed in, sadly. At eight o'clock, you'll come through this gate. This gate will be locked at five past eight. A member of staff will be here to greet you, but you will guide your own way into school, ready for when the register is taken. And I'll show you that to the bottom junior door, and I'll show you that in a second now. Juniors, say, will come into school through this gate at 8.45, okay? There will be a member of staff, to help you along the zebra crossing. Okay, Laura, just did that. You won't get a member staff to help you cross the zebra crossing, but you will make your own way in to school. I will show you where year three are going to go. They'll be guided around by an adult, but year four, five, and six will go through the junior, bottom junior double. Base taxis arrive at 8.45 for taxis, 8.50 for parents. You need to be mindful of this zebra cross crossing. There will be parents crossing here. You need to come and park in the taxi base. And you will walk your children by holding their hands across the car park and down the steps. At the end of the day, you will pick the children up from the classes as normal and walk up the steps back to your car. You do not use this path here. Thank you. Okay, so quiet and start will also come through this entrance. After the main amount of junior pupils has flown through, at 8.50 you will come in to take your children over to fly and start. Following this path, over to the fly and start demountable as normal and you will come back on the same path. Like I've said, or we'll say later in this video, that is about minimum contact. So you may pass each other, but it's minimal contact. Then that's morning flying start. Afternoon flying start will come through this gate at 12.20 and to pick up at 10 to three. Following this path, same, and coming back on this path. Please make sure you close the gate after you. Thank you. Okay, so base children, come through this gate here and you drop your children at this what we call the fruit room door the top junior door the first junior door and then you will go out through this gate here like before and back up the steps for key stage two children for breakfast club for your four five and six and key stage two children come into school they'll come through this gate and they will go through this bottom junior door here outside the one near a year six, they so you know where they're going. Year three children do not come through this door at the start of the school day. They will walk the back of the school, which I'll show you. So year three, when they come in, they're going to get their steps up, they're going to follow the path around the back of the school, and in to this gate This is for those that did not come to breakfast club and that came to school at 8.45. So year three will come through this gate here and go into their classroom. Thank you. Okay, so at the end of the day, your child will be collected at three o'clock. There will be someone on the gate, so make sure you know where you're going. You will come onto site to collect them. And I will show you where you need to go in a second.
Okay, so reception and nursery pairs, when you collect and drop off, you'll go through this gate here and you will follow up to the sunflower. You'll drop your children or collect your children at the doors and walk back through this gate here like you do now. And I'll show you. Come back through this gate here and you'll walk back the same way you came around the path. Don't panic, there will be people to show you for the first couple of days. Year one and year one two pairs, dolphins and turtles will come through this gate here and you need to try and stand just out of the way with this class. This is year one, dot our turtles. I come from here to pick up for year one two. This is middles. Okay, so wait till your child has been called and like you need to try and stand two meters apart as best as you can. It is going to be tight space, but we need to do the best that we can and then you'll follow this path. All key stage two pupils, so that's year three, four, five, and six, will leave at the end of the day from the top gate by the car park like they do now. They'll be dismissed by their teachers. Please, if they walk home from their own, let them do so so there's not many people gathered up there. It's generally just year three that get picked up. If they remember, if they can, you do not want your child to walk home on their own, you need to let us know. But Rachel will send a message in regards to that. Thank you. The whole point of this plan is not to refer us to as best as possible to stop people mixing bubbles. We know that we cannot do that, but it's to keep a contact group as minimal as possible for track and trace purposes. So you have to keep two metres apart, that is vital. We know you might cross on a path, but that is a split second, just like it is in the supermarket, and that isn't picked up on track and trace. It's that I, they were looking at those contact people that have been in contact for a long period of time.